Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we make digital electronics simple and fun. Today we are going to dive into asynchronous counters and synchronous counters, two key concepts in digital systems. By the end of this video, you will not only understand the difference but also know where to use them. So let's get started. First things first, what, what's a counter? So counter is a digital circuit used to count pulses. These pulses can represent clock signals, events or any kind of input data. Counters come in two main types, asynchronous counters and synchronous counters. So let's explore how they work. Starting with asynchronous counters. So, in asynchronous counters, as its name indicates, it is asynchronous. It means external clock is given to only one flip-flop. An output of first flip-flop acts as clock input to second flip-flop. Whereas, in case of synchronous counter, single external clock drives all flip-flops. Here, I have taken only two flip-flops. But you can connect as many flip-flops as you want. For two bits, two flip-flops. For more number of bits, you will take more flip-flops. So here you can see external clock is given to all flip-flops parallelly. It means here in case of synchronous counter, they will generate output faster as compared to asynchronous counter because all flip-flops will, re uh, will re are receiving clock simultaneously. So they will generate output simultaneously. So they are faster. Synchronous counters are faster whereas asynchronous counters are slower as compared to synchronous counter. So they are slower. Another thing is in case of asynchronous counters, see counters can be up counters or down counters. So in case of up counters, asynchronous counter will generate count like 0, then 1, then 2, then 3 and then again it will come back to 0. Whereas in case of synchronous counters, they can generate count like 0, then 3, then 1, then 2. In any sequence they can generate count. So this is the main difference between two. Here it can count, it can generate count 0, 1, 2, 3 or in case of down counters, it will generate count from 3, 2, 1, 0. Whereas synchronous counters can generate in, uh, output in any sequence. But when it is generating sequence in uh, uh, output in any sequence, it means we need to add something here at the input of flip-flop. So we need to add AND gates or OR gates or some gates to make sequence um, uh, not in uh, ascending order or in uh, and not in uh, sequence. So for that we need to add something. It means the structure becomes complex. So synchronous counters are complex as compared to asynchronous counters. So asynchronous counters are simple and synchronous counters are complex. Then the speed is less here, speed is more here. They are simple, they are complex. So they consume less area on uh, chip and they consumes more area on chip. So, less area on chip, more area on chip. So, because they are simple, so they consume less power as compared to synchronous counters, less power consumption. Here, power consumption is more. So, based on these differences, 
Let's see where they are used. So asynchronous counters, they are slower. So they are used in timing circuits. Or they are also used in frequency dividers. Whereas because of their high speed synchronous counters are used in microprocessors digi uh, mm, digital clocks they can also be used in digital clocks or in data sequencing And that's a wrap on asynchronous and synchronous counters. If this video helped you, hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more amazing content on digital electronics, got questions or a topic suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning. Thank you so much for watching.